Outrocast. Cord, Camila, a pleasure to be speaking with both of you. Aside from answering the same five questions over and over again, day goes well for both of you? Say, say what? Aside from having to answer the same questions over and over and over again, uh, day's going fine for both of you? Oh, oh yeah. 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 It's yeah, been it's great. Been a little bamboozled, but you know. I just had some green juice and I'm ready to go. Green juice, not coffee, not energy drinks. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Camille, had you filmed much in Mexico or at all in Mexico before landing this great role? Never, never in my life. I had only been to Mexico once to visit my best friend's family in Mexicali up north. Never, no, no. it's my first time working and really experiencing Mexico. Cord, same question at you. Um, this is my first time working in Mexico. I've been to Mexico several times. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, it's, it's great. You know, a lot of sun and a lot of, uh, huh? a lot of great weather. Yeah. Love me some Cabo. Uh, exactly. <laughs> the, the Julia character, how much of there is that in you, Camila? I think our drive, um, we're both dreamers. We're both independent, strong I mean, and we're both Colombian. Um, but in the emotional side, I do have to say I'm 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 way more different than her. Um, but I guess those similarities we have in common. Mm, interesting. Cord. Besides the CH of Chad versus Cord, how much of Chad is there in Cord Overstreet? Oh, uh, I would like to say it's a good 90-10 ratio. Uh, I think. Uh, I think that's about accurate. No, um, <laughs> I mean, I don't, it's, it's, it's such a fun, I, I love to just goof around and I like, grew up like being overly goofy and trying to uh, get a laugh at any moment that I could. So I feel like, uh, I feel like whenever doing any kind of character, you got to bring a little bit of yourself in, in, in there. Um, but, you know, we're all just playing around on set, trying to get as, as, you know, figure out how we make something as funny as possible. So I think that, uh, you know, writers and all the producers kind of are really open to uh, the a state of play, which is fun. Is there any improv in the final product that we see on screen or are even the uhs and the ums pauses and all that kind of stuff in the script? Um, I would say that, like, it's there's a lot of... I, all the everything's bit. pretty much like ironed out as far as the writing goes. I mean, they they'll definitely um, based you know based on who's directing or whatever. There's there's they always encourage to play with you know to play with stuff as well. But it's 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 pretty easy and great. I mean, it's kind of just like hey, let's have fun. And uh, but it's it's it you don't really need to improv because it's, it's all there. It's all on the page exactly. So it's set. Most of it is set in the 1980s without spoiling too much. Yeah. Are they able to, how do I put it? Do a lot of changes have to be made around the resort or was it a lot of it naturally 1980s-ish? Well, they had to paint the whole place pink. Yeah, it's not a pink hotel. Um, and we changed hotels this this season to a, a bigger, bigger hotel. So just more pink paint. Um, but our... Our our set decorator is incredible, and he he's so detailed to where you know he moved he moved the set and made it exactly how it was on the previous location, and and really did a great job of of being authentic to the eighties. Yeah, uh, but everything is a set; like everything is literally a set. Uh -huh. It's it's like going into Don Pablo's offices, like just straight up time travel. It's great. Yeah, it's really cool. The last question I have for both of you, and we'll go with with Camila first, obviously Acapulco is the best show on, on Apple TV. We know that. Oh, it's we know that. You. We but, know that. Yes. Say it louder. But what's the second best show on Apple TV? Ooh, Ooh. Uh, I, I just love... finished severance. It's so fucking, Oh, it's so good. I don't know. No, that, you can say that. I love the morning show. I also I like Luke. Yes. Luke's great. Uh, I started watching Luke. Luke. Maya Rudolph is hysterical. Um, Adam, Adams in both of those shows. Uh, Severance is incredible. Um, I, I also watched The Shrink Next Door, which uh, was a wild. The ride. after party is really funny too. Yes, it is. Well, thank you both for talking with me, and looking forward to hopefully a season three with both of you in it. Have Yay. a great rest. Thank of the day. you so much. Thank you. Take care now. Outro cast.